Ucha. It's about to be an eventful day. Hey Beast and Babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharice B and the B stands for Beast. Welcome to a special, special vlog. Uh, it has little to do with fitness because what I'm about to do today will have an effect on my workout routine in a sense as far as how I go about things. After 10 years, I am going back to a the relaxed life. Ew. There was a time where when I was relaxed where I had a shortcut and I really loved that shortcut. A lot of people also love that shortcut on me. At that time, I wanna say that was when I felt the most beautiful. When it comes to me and short hair, I really like the whole sleek look. Um, I just love it. So yes, girl, I've done my research on this. I've contemplated it. I looked at videos on YouTube about you know taking care of relaxed hair. And personally, I know that I'm ready to go back. It's not a decision that you know I don't think really needed that much consultation on. It's just hair. And if I don't like it, or if I wanna go back to natural, at least I can start over with a shortcut and just transition. Um, because I'll probably have a little bit more patience rather than starting from long relax here and trying to transition to natural But I don't think I'm going back to natural to be honest Let's just keep the comments positive up in here and if they're not positive I will clap back. I'm not gonna delete you But I'm a clap back <laughs> I guess that would be a thing on this channel now is you know um, relax hair being a fit girl because there are videos on YouTube like that, but they don't really go into depth and they're mostly by women who don't really do what I do. They don't, they're not big on fitness. Like they get their little workout in cause they know it's important. But for me, it's like, this is a lifestyle. I gotta get over to this appointment cause traffic's about to be crazy. And I will see y'all at the salon. Surprise, yeah. As y'all can see, I got my hair cut and relaxed. The beast of beauty is relaxed. What y'all think? I love it, oh my God. Like, oh, this just reminds me so much of the haircut I had in college. Now that, you know, my collarbones are more pronounced and my face is thinner, I really, really like this look on me, y'all. Like, this is probably gonna be a keeper for a very, very long time. I will say that my workout routine as far as like hair upkeep will change, of course. I can't just throw it up in a bun um, anymore. So your girl most likely will be having it wrapped and then like pin it. Um, because when I sweat, I sweat a lot and it always comes from like profusely from here. It's gonna take some time to get used to as far as maintaining it um, after a workout and all that. Um, so I'm not spending forever in the mirror, but I really like this look, y'all, and I think it makes me look more mature. I'm sorry that I couldn't record in the salon, but it was a very um, tight salon that she has because she's in a suite, which is in a, um, a office building type situation. So I didn't want to be all like this and have the camera set up and in her way. So I might make this a two for one and do one day post relaxer or a couple days post relaxer with my workout routine you can see what i do in order to maintain my hairdo um but keep living that fit life because we ain't gonna let no hair determine whether we work out or not okay y'all mm -hmm. i'm about to be slaying comment down below and let me know if you like this hairdo girl because i do hey beats and babes so I am finally about to get to my workout child. I just wanted to show y'all how I get my hair ready for a workout now that I have short hair. I've always worn a sweatband when doing my workouts because I hate dripping sweat. So anyways, so I was rudely interrupted by a dog. Like I said before, I always worn a headband, um, especially a moisture capturing one because I do sweat from my head profusely during workouts, especially during cardio. So I hate getting sweat dripping down my face. But since I got this shortcut, I love to wear a headband from this particular brand that I'm about to show y'all that really helps keep the sweat in and it keeps my sides um, somewhat dry too so they're not totally drenched. These 
two I'm about to show y'all are from uh, the gym brand by Nicole Ari Parker. So she created this headband line, which is great, especially for us sisters who worry about sweating our hair out. And it's really great, y'all. It really keeps the sweat at bay. This is my purple one that I have, and I'll show you how it. Uh, I tie it around, but this is the material on the inside. So as you can see, it has holes, it's breathable, and this is the moisture catching aspect of it. So yeah, it ties around. I'm gonna show y'all my black one. I haven't opened it yet, but I probably am gonna use it today. So what it says here on this box is, it's a Vapotech, it's patented tri-layer evaporation technology. So maximum heat transfer, wick moisture, and it wicks moisture away from the skin. So this is the black one here. And this is what I do before workout. So I'm gonna somewhat wrap my hair a little bit cause I don't wanna have it hanging over the headband too much. So I like to wrap my hair like so, like so, like that, okay. And you can have a little bit hanging, especially for um, you short hair women too. Um, I know we all want to look a little bit more feminine in the gym. Like we don't want to look a total mess. I know some women don't care what they look like, but I do care a little bit. So then I'm going to take the headband here. And it's weird where they place the logo. You would think the logo would be in the front, but it actually ends up being at the side when you tie it the correct way. So it ends up being like this, so people can see from the sides. See, little bow, well, it's messed up now. But, is this right? Okay. Nice little bow in the back. And make sure it's secure so it doesn't slide. You can pin your hair if you want. And for those of you with longer hair, you can just do it like this and put your hair up in a bun or a ponytail, whatever you want to do. So I'm gonna do my workout and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all what my hair looks like after I let it like air dry a little bit. And then, yeah, that'll be the end of this video. <laughs> All right, see ya. Hey y'all, so I finished my workout not too long ago. So I did let this sit on my head a little bit um, before um, taking it off and that's what I do every day and then I let my hair air dry. Let's see, okay. So, as you can see, the sides are still intact. Nothing too bad. Like if I had um, worked out or have gone to the gym, if it was open and I had to be somewhere right after, I would be okay just like combing this out even though my curls fell. Cause I didn't heat curl, I used um, flexi rods. So I would just comb my top out and then rock it like this all day. But majority of my sweat was caught by the headband, which is the whole point. Don't get just get a regular headband that you would use to accessorize your hair because those don't do anything. You want to make sure you get a headband that actually captures uh, the sweat and everything. So, all right. That's all I wanted to share um, with this. I hope this helped. If you want more tips on how to maintain your hair while working out, please comment like this hot below and I'll try my best to get it out to you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, girl. All right, beauties, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Peace and Beauty Fitness is brought to you by Crown Productions, media fit for royalty. Eww.